video lecture is about salt hydrolysis so before going to salt hydrolysis first we will know about this salt so salt is an ionic compound that is formed by the reaction between an acid and a base we know that salts are electrolytes electrolytes are those species which will produce or which will split into ions by the passage of electricity some electrolytes or some salts are strong electrolytes while the others are weak electrolytes strong electrolytes mean that they will produce ions to large extent or they will produce ions to larger degree and the weak electrolyte mean that they will produce ions to smaller extent so the hydrolysis is the reaction of anion and cation with water accompanied by the cleavage of water h o h bond so this is known as hydrolysis when the cation and anions are formed and they will interact with water and the salt hydrolysis is the reaction of anion and cation or both the ions with water to produce an acidic basic and neutral solution so salt hydrolysis mean it is the interaction of cation or anion or both with water and it will produce changes in ph which mean that it will produce either acidic basic or neutral solution when a salt b a this is a generalized salt b is a cationic part a is the anionic part is dissolved in water it is dissociated into positive and negative ions these ions separately react with water by breaking of h o h bond that this is the bond of water the cleavage of bond h o h as a result the acidic and basic solution is formed depending upon the nature of the dissolved salt so we will study the mechanism of hydrolysis it is divided into two categories one is known as anionic hydrolysis which mean the negative part of the uh, salt with react with water that is known as anionic hydrolysis in the anionic hydrolysis the solution becomes slightly basic due to the generation of excess oh ions so in anionic hydrolysis there is a production or there is a generation of oh ion that will produce the basic nature so the resultant solution will become basic so this is the anionic part of the above salt b a it will react with water so in case of water first the cleavage of water will takes place and then it will interact with anionic part so this is the cleavage and the uh, h plus uh, that is the positive charge of water part it will interact with a negative the anion of the salt and it will produce h a that is a weak acid and also a strong basic part or we know that uh, oh will produce the basic character so this these both will combine and it will produce oh minus now there is the oh minus production so the resultant solution becomes basic second is cationic hydrolysis now the cationic part the positive part of the salt it will interact with water and it will produce excess h ions now excess h ion will produce a acidic nature so the resultant solution become acidic due to this excess h ion now we will know about the reaction this is the cationic part of the salt and it will interact with uh, water so due to the electrostatic attraction so it will interact with oh part of the water so first the water will be cleavage and the oh part of the water will interact with cation it will produce boh and h plus now this h plus will uh, will give the acidic nature to the resultant solution now the ph of the resultant solution will be less than 7 classification of salt based on hydrolysis the different salt may be classified into following types according to their hydrolysis behavior 
salt of weak acid and strong bases salt of weak bases and strong acid and salt of weak acid and weak bases and the salt that is formed from strong acid and strong bases all these uh, interaction will depend upon the resultant ph or this classification is based on the resultant ph so the ph of the resultant solution determine the acidic basic and neutral nature of the salt first one is salt of weak acid and strong bases so this uh, salt uh, hydrolysis is divided into two three categories one is first we will know about the salt what is the nature of salt how this salt is formed second we will hydrolyze this salt and in third step we will know about the solution ph whether it is towards acidic side or towards the basic side so we will study one by one salt salt is formed from weak acid and strong bases so here the weak acid is acetic acid and the strong base is sodium hydroxide when these both will combine it will produce salt and water the salt here is sodium acetate now the second step is about the hydrolysis of this salt sodium acetate is dissolved in water it ionizes into uh, in aqueous solution into acetate ion and sodium ion so the sodium acetate when it becomes ionized it will produce acetate ion and sodium ion being the conjugate base of weak acid so this is a weak acid this one acetic acid and this will be the conjugate base of weak acid so we know that the when the acid is weak its conjugate base will be strong now it is the conjugate base of weak acid so it will be relatively a strong base thus acetate ion accept the h ion from water and undergo hydrolysis now we have already studied it that h and oh these are the two parts of the water it will combine h part of water with itself and it will produce a weak acid and the oh part will remain free now this oh part will change the resultant ph of the solution now we will know about the ph the resulting solution is slightly basic due to the excess oh ion present so here the oh ion are present and the h ion of water are consumed by the acetate ion in order to produce the acetic acid weak acid and the oh ion will be free or it will be present as oh ion so the resultant solution will become slightly basic because the oh ion will produce a basic nature to the uh, solution now this is the basic salt example of basic salt second type is salt of weak bases and strong acid now how this salt is produced when hydrochloric acid as strong acid it will combine with ammonium hydroxide it will produce ammonium chloride salt now you will hydrolyze this ammonium chloride salt when ammonium chloride is dissolved in water it ionizes in aqueous solution into ammonium ion and chloride ion just like showing in this reaction ammonium ion is the conjugate acid of weak base we know that when a base is weak it it conjugate acid will be strong so it is relatively a strong acid now it will accept the oh ion from water and it will undergo hydrolysis now water has two parts h plus and oh oh will combine with ammonium ion and it will produce the ammonium hydroxide and the h plus or the hydrogen plus of water will remain as such in the medium now what will be the resultant ph the resulting solution is slightly acidic due to the excess h ion present we know that there are production of h ion and these are present in the medium so the resultant ph of the solution will be shifted towards the acidic side salt of weak acid and weak bases now how this salt is produced when a weak acid such as acetic acid it will combine with ammonium hydroxide as a weak base it will produce ammonium acetate salt now we will hydrolyze this 
Ammonium acetate is dissolved in water and it ionizes into acetate anion and ammonium ion. So the reaction is given as it will produce acetate ion and ammonium ion. We know that these both are produced or these both are the conjugate acid or conjugate base of weak acid and weak bases. So they will relatively a strong, strong acid and strong bases. Thus acetate ion accept the H ion from water and the ammonium ion will accept OH ion from water and they will undergo hydrolysis. When the acetate ion it will accept the H ion now the remaining OH ion will be produced. Ammonium ion it will accept the OH ion from water and the free or the excess H ion will be present in the medium. Now there, there is if we look at this reaction there are excess of OH ion and H ion both are present. Now what will be the resultant pH? The resulting pH is slightly acidic, basic and neutral depending upon the Ka and Kb of acid and bases that is the ionization constant of acid and bases. If the Ka is greater than Kb we, we know that Ka is the characteristic of acid so this means that H ion will be greater than the OH ion hydroxide ion. If the H ion or the hydrogen ion are greater than the hydroxide ion, then the solution will be acidic. If the Kb is greater than Ka, the reverse will be the true and the solution will be basic. If the Ka is equal to Kb, then we know that the solution will be neutral. Here are a few examples given in which the Ka is greater than Kb then the resultant solution will be acidic and the example is ammonium oxalate in which the acid ionization constant has a value 5.6 into 10 raised to power minus 2 and the base ionization constant has a value is equal to 1.75 into 10 raised to power minus 5. If we look at these two values we know that the Ka has a greater value than Kb which means that the acidic character will be greater than basic character so the resultant solution will be acidic when the kb is greater than ka the solution will be basic and the example is ammonium cyanide here the ka and kb both values are given and looking at these values the kb has a greater value than ka so the solution will be basic when the Ka is equal to Kb, then the resultant solution will be neutral and the example is ammonium acetate in which both Ka and Kb has the same value. So, the resultant solution will be neutral. Last type of salt that is produced from strong bases and strong acid. When hydrochloric acid, a strong acid, it will combine with strong base like sodium hydroxide, it will produce sodium chloride salt. Now what is the hydrolysis mechanism of this sodium chloride salt? When sodium chloride is dissolved in water, it ionizes in aqueous solution into sodium ion and chloride ion as shown in the reaction. So the sodium chloride, it will produce sodium ion and chloride ion. We know that the, when the acid or base are strong, then their conjugate acid and conjugate base are weak. Now sodium ion, that is the conjugate acid of strong base, so it is a weak acid. Similarly, the chloride ion, that is the conjugate base of strong acid, so it is a weak base. So this sodium ion which is a weak conjugate uh, acid and chloride ion which is a weak conjugate base, they will not accept any uh, OH ion and H ion from water which means that they will not hydrolyze and they will not produce any H and OH ion or which means that they will not produce any uh, pH change in the solution. So this reaction will not take place. What will be the resultant pH of the solution? The pH of the resulting solution will remain unaffected and we can say that it is neutral.